hi, this is Kristen Hess. I want to talk to you about math and how to use three column notes in math. And the topic we're going to talk about today is intervals and when you use round brackets compared to when you use square brackets. So as we are talking, I want you to think and try and answer for yourself, what is a square bracket? What is a round bracket? And when are each used and why? So first key idea, what is a square bracket? So definition is it indicates that a point is included in the interval or the graph. So there's the square brackets and there's a line segment and notice there's a closed circle. And so that closed circle is what tells us the point is included on the graph. We could also see the greater than or equal to symbol to tell us that five is included in this specific example or X is less than or equal to to indicate that five is also included in this specific example. So what about a round bracket? Well, um, it indicates that a point is not included in the graph or the interval. So there's our round parentheses. There's the open circle. So this point in this line segment is not included, but everything up until that point. And so you'd have a X is less than or x is greater than. So here's our x is less than 5, x is greater than 5 would mean that everything up until you get to 5. So when we're writing this we could have a combination of both. Specifically we could have a round bracket and a square bracket on our interval. So that might be saying between 4 and 10. So 4 is not included, but 4.0001 is, all the way up to 10, and 10 is included, but nothing bigger, which would also be written as 4 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 10. Another example would be as if, if you have the square bracket first and the round bracket second. So here I have negative 3 with a square bracket on the left and 8 on the right, which would be read as negative 3 is less than or equal to x which is less than 10. So negative 3 is included but 8 is not. So 7.9999 is included in the interval. And also be aware that with infinity, infinity always uses round brackets. So if you have an interval that includes all reals, you'd say negative infinity up to positive infinity or negative infinity is less than x which is less than or equal to positive infinity. And also note that the smallest numbers always go first. So in all of my intervals, 4 is a smaller number in the first one, negative 3 is a smaller, negative infinity, negative infinity to 10. So negative infinity is a smaller one, negative 3 is a smaller one here as well. So hopefully by the end of this video you feel like you've got a better feel for the difference between round and square brackets and when you would use each, specifically with graphing, you would use them in domain and finding the range with increasing and decreasing intervals as well. So we can talk about the specifics of each of those situations in another video. Let me know what you need. Thank you.